Radiation has one unusual property. It stops time. In order to feel it, it's enough to visit town Pipit once. The city froze in the socialist landscape of the 80s. We are in 2020 and there are 34 years on from the largest nuclear disaster of the 20th century that shocked the entire world and divided our history into before and after. The catastrophe destroyed the fate of the inhabitants of the town Pripyat, surrounding villages and liquidators. The afterspread of radiation undermined the health of thousands of people from Ukraine, Belarus, Russia and nearby European countries. Nowadays, Chernobyl is a tragedy, drama, catastrophe, but from the other hand is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Ukraine. Chernobyl nuclear power plant was one of the Soviet Union's most advanced facilities. It was lying about 130 kilometers north of Kyiv, capital of Ukraine, and consisted of four nuclear reactors of the RBMK-1000 design, each capable for producing 1000 megawatts of electric power. RBMK is an acronym which translates to High Power Channel Type Reactor. Units 1 and 2 were being constructed between 1970 and 1978, while Units 3 and 4 of the same design were completed in 1981 and 1983. Two more RBMK reactors were under construction at the site at the time of the accident and have been cancelled after the accident happened. There are still 10 operating RBMK reactors of the type involved in the Chernobyl accident. The latest of this type is planned to be operational until 2034. All of them are located in Russia and were exposed to significant design modifications. During a period of routine maintenance, Chernobyl plant workers wanted to test the ability of the turbo generator to produce electricity in emergency conditions in order to understand for how long the generator of the fourth power unit can work in the event of a disconnection of its own power supply. This experiment began on April 25th at 10 past 11 p.m. According to the instructions, the test should have passed at a thermal power of 700 to 1000 megawatts, which is 22-31% of full power. But there was an instruction to reduce the power to 200 megawatts. On April 26, at 12.23 a.m., the reactor capacity reached 520 megawatts and then began uncontrollably falling. Trying to boost it, the operators removed most of the control rods, which are made of neutron-absorbing boron carbide and used to slow fission reaction. Operators also reduced the flow of water through the reactor. This fatally caused the first explosion to be quickly followed by at least one more that lifted a 1,000-ton lid made of steel and concrete. The explosion occurred on Saturday night, 26th of April 1986, at 1.23 am. The RBMK reactor number 4 that exploded at Chernobyl was 7 meters tall and almost 12 meters wide. One person died on the spot, other 30 in the following three months, from the acute radiation sickness. The explosion led to a fire, which started in different rooms, as well as on the roof. The fire was extinguished by 6 am in the morning, except for a blaze, which was burning within the reactor core for the next 11 days. 4% of 190 tons of nuclear fuel have been spewed into the environment. The toxicity of the radiation cloud was equivalent to 400 Hiroshima atomic bomb explosions. The wind took the radioactive cloud to the north, Belarus, Russia and further to Europe. In just two days, it has reached a Swedish nuclear power plant Forsmark, which is over 1000 kilometers away from Chernobyl. So Sweden alerted the world about the danger coming from the Chernobyl disaster. 36 hours after the initial blast, they ordered the evacuation of the neighboring town Pripyat, which was built in 1970 for the employees of the plant. In the aftermath of the accident, there were involved about 600,000 people, including specialists and military forces. There is still no consensus on what exactly happened that night at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. There was a chain of the mistakes between the operators and designers of RBMK-1000 reactor. The accident was assigned to the highest, seventh level of danger, which is characterized by a large release of radioactivity into the atmosphere, causing severe consequences for public health and the environment. Immediately after the accident, a concrete sarcophagus was built over the fourth block to reduce the radiation and to avoid further leakage of radioactive dust into the atmosphere. 
The sarcophagus, or so-called shelter object number one, a bath reactor, was mounted from June to December 1986 and was built in only 206 days. Sometimes up to 10,000 people went to the site in one shift in order to avoid radiation sickness. In only five months, about 400,000 cubic meters of concrete were laid over, more than 7,000 tons of metal structures were installed, 90,000 cubic meters of soil were moved away from Pripyat. Pripyat is a city that was destined to live for only 16 years, but gave a life to the youngest town in Ukraine, called Slavutich, which is situated 70 kilometers away from the plant. Its construction began in December 1986, seven months after the accident, for the employees of the plant. Its population is only 25,000 people. Today, Slavutic lives a life of an ordinary young city, and for the new generation, the tragedy of Chernobyl is gradually becoming a history. Slavutic is the youngest city not only in the former Soviet Union and Ukraine, but also in Europe. It is not a touristic place, but foreigners live here. Employees of the French company Navarka, which is responsible for the new construction at the Chernobyl site. A monumental arch. 30 years after the accident, in 2016, the emergency block, together with the old shelter which started cracking, being rusty and leaking radiation, was completely covered with a huge arch, called New Safety Confinement, which construction started in September 2010. After the arch was installed on permanent supports, it was necessary to hermetically attach it to the structures of the shelter object number one. For its reliable operation, many technical systems must have been installed, an air ventilation system, cranes for the third assembly of the structures of the destroyed sarcophagus, automated system for monitoring the background radiation. The confinement was commissioned in July 2019 and became the greatest movable arch construction in the world. Its internal volume is 2.5 million cubic meters and total weight is 30,000 tons. The new safety confinement was designed to last for 100 years to prevent the release of radioactive contaminants, to protect the reactor from the external influence and to facilitate the commissioning of the reactor preventing water intrusion. But what is underneath the sarcophagus? Can we answer this question? Yes, because there were people inside. Konstantin Chechirov is a man who many times has been there above the reactor and even inside. He is officially the most irradiated human being in the world. He received from 2.5 to 4 deadly doses. He died in 2013, but participated in the extraction of valuable artifacts from the premises of Chernobyl station. After six months of investigation in December 1986, with the help of a remote camera, they discovered an intensely radioactive mass more than two meters wide in the basement of the unit number four. They called it the elephant's foot for its wrinkled appearance. Despite being only a small part of roughly 100 tons of lava created during the meltdown, the elephant's foot has become symbolic of the horrifying legacy of Chernobyl, largely due to its intense radioactivity. Getting a sample of such material to study has proved highly risky. Just with hammers and hands, most samples of lava were collected at different locations in the beginning of 90s. These findings could allow scientists to evaluate methods of handling such deadly waste and develop a way to deal with the nuclear lava present inside Chernobyl. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant is planned to be working until 2065. And in July 2019, the liquid radioactive waste processing plant started at Chernobyl site. It took 13 years to build the plant. During the processing, all liquid waste will pass through several stages, and as a result, they will be turned into solid radioactive waste by cementing. After cooling and radiation monitoring, packages will be sent for disposal in specially equipped near surface stores for solid radioactive waste located at Chernobyl site. Hundreds of thousands of people have been evacuated at the time of the accident, but not everyone accepted this fate. It turns out that a community of 200 people is still living inside the zone. Most of them are women in their 70s and 80s and the last survivors of a group who defied authorities and returned to their homes. They did so illegally. Shoot me and dig me the grave. Otherwise, I'm going home, said one of them to the soldier who was trying to evacuate her for the second time. 
the echoes of the tragedy still haunt us, and Chernobyl will be a monument to the fact that often humanity plays with fire, forgetting what power holds in hands. The threat of global climate change has pushed governments around the world to consider nuclear energy and to develop advanced nuclear technologies. As the interest in nuclear power increases, serious discussions on safety must resume before moving forward. It's also very important to preserve and to convey information about what happened to the younger generation. We should talk about the heroic efforts of the liquidators. After all, only remembering the mistakes of the past, we can hope not to repeat them again in the future.